welcome back to today. It's day two of summer, maybe even day three. It is hot outside. I spent the whole entire morning cleaning the chicken coop. I took out all the bedding that I use in winter time and it was straw and then I replaced it in summer with shavings and it's all fresh and clean, but you guys would not believe this. I know I keep talking about my dog, but I can't help it, you guys. It is like the craziest thing on earth. Like, I can take her anywhere with me. If I could dream up the perfect dog, I keep on saying I'm gonna tell you guys this story and then I never get to it, so I'm gonna say it right now. We had a gold, long ago we had a golden doodle. Her name was Abby. Some of you guys might remember her. She's been on our channel. She died on our channel. She got old and we had to put her down. She was Sam's dream dog. And every time I'd say like, why do you love her so much? Cause he loved her. And he said, because she has my back. No matter where he went, she followed him. And if he was like kneeling down in front of the fireplace, putting wood in the fire and working with the fire, she would be sitting right next to him with her back pressed up against him, watching out, watching to make sure nothing happened to keep him safe. Like the love and the bond that they had was like this. And then that's why we got Ruby because he really, he really missed having that bond with another animal. And then they didn't ever get that bond. They, if anything, Ruby is the most attached to me, but I, I, and I love her. I love all of our dogs, but I don't have like that same kind of bond with them that Sam had with Abby until we got Ellie. I thought that I had like an amazing bond with with, Ma, with Macy, my chihuahua, and I did have an amazing bond with her, but there's something different about Daisy. You guys explain it to me. Like, she, this dog, Macy always was, loved me and spent so much time with me, but when push came to shove, she never, like, I don't know how to, I don't know how to describe it, but basically, <laughs> please bear with me. Daisy lives, exists to be with me. She exists to make sure that I'm okay. She like, I, it's shocking the relationships I have with her. Like I've never felt that before with another dog. And now I understand why saw Sam missed Abby so much. I cleaned the chicken coop this morning. Like I changed all the bedding and she laid in the chicken coop. I locked her in the chicken coop with me. This little tiny five month old puppy that is a rat terrier. Like is a, is a terrier designed to chase little creatures like chickens. And she laid in there and she loves the chicken coop. She just lays there. And all I have to say is Ellie and instantly she's at my feet every single time. So if she starts to do something bad, like chase them, I say Ellie and she learns like that. So she lays in there and she watches the chickens. It's like such good mental stimulation for her. She finds it incredibly stimulating and she just lays there and she stares at them and they just go about their business. They don't even care. She's like, they're dirt bathing and she's right there laying in the dirt with them. I have to take a picture next time when I'm out there and she's out there with me. She loves the chickens. Like I can do anything with this dog. And because of that, it makes me want to do everything with her, which is probably not a good idea. The love and the, uh, the bond that I have with this dog is out of this world. And the crazy thing is, is that it wasn't like that from the start. At the start, it was hard for me. I missed Macy. I compared them. She had a hard time getting used to me. I had a hard time getting used to her. And then all of a sudden, it just developed into this in intense love. I left Ellie in the house with the girls. Sam just got home. And he said, your dog's headed down to the barn. Ellie! Oh. He opened the door and she just ran down to find me. Come on, Ellie Belly Bear. Ellie. <laughs> Come on. I know, I left you in the house. How dare I do that? <laughs> My goodness. All right, so I Whoa. I'm taking her with us later this afternoon where we go when we go someplace special and I wanted her to like stay inside and have a drink and cool down because she was out in the chicken coop with me all morning. But she doesn't want to do that. She wants to be with me. I gave her a trim, our first real trim. I used the buzzers. I'm going to show you guys. I did one mistake. I used a blade that was too short and she has a little bald spot. But other than that, I'm in love with how she looks. But look at how cute she looks. This way. So wait, I'll try and get her. Ellie. Oh, I can't, you guys can't see. Look at how cute she looks. I trimmed up her face. I trimmed up her whole body. I trimmed up her feet because I want her feet to not have hair between them, between the pads of her feet. I trimmed everything. And she looks so cute. Uh-oh. Whoops. Every time Ellie's on the ground, <laughs> Gracie's like, I will kill her. 
Be nice. The old me would probably complain about the heat. Okay. The so old me, idea. but I'm so grateful. You're probably gonna say no. What? What if we took the van and then I took honey? I know, I thought of it myself. No. Just put her in the van. She's been in there before. Yeah. She's, She's small enough. I know, but no, we're not doing that. Dang it. Dang it. I'd love to take her though. Oh, she's so excited. She's like, what am I doing? I know. I have so many pictures. So Aria, my granddaughter, was obsessed with her. Sam bought this yeah. the other day for Easter for the horses. Leave it like that. Don't take it apart. Do yourself a favor. Don't ever get one. I hate those things. I've heard actually that they're really good for, I've heard actually that they're really good for removing snowballs from horses. Hi, Pen. I feel like it's nice. Oh, I wanted to take her for a drink. I feel like it's nice for them to get in out of the sun. Wowzer. You know how you see videos of those people that shed their horses and their horse, like it's like a whole massive shed and it's so thick. I always wonder how they get that. Is it like a special breed that their hair comes off that thick or is it just that they're left and not shed out on a regular basis and they just do one big shed? Um, do we have a shaver? No. Because look how much hair it has and it's puffing. I know, that she's it, overheated. She is, oh, she overheats. Do you guys think it would be okay to shave her? <laughs> Sophie and I definitely want to shave her, but. Willow's probably gonna get shaved today. No, not today. I mean, not we today. Have, maybe tomorrow. Um, I'm gonna ask my vet friend. She's gonna say no, and then I'm gonna try and talk her into it and explain how hot she is. And then she's still gonna say no. She has so much hair. It looks like, like it's she's just so fat, thick, you but guys. It's so much. It's like, look at how far down it is. It's like. It's so thick, like almost my whole finger. It's insane. I also really love my horse. Like, I'm not even joking, you guys. She just makes me so happy. Like, I, I guess it's like she knows me and I know her, so when I pick her feet, she does exactly what I want her to do. Like, we read each other's minds, and it just makes for, like, the best experience. All right, three horses down. We got Honey done, Willow done. Willow's not done. Trying oh, to tame her mane. She's trying to tame her mane. We got... Penny done, lovely Penny done, and Chino's getting done. All we have left is Gracie. I brought over like a few buckets of water for her because it's really hot and I'm not sure if they're drinking enough in the field. Uh, we still have water in that field. I don't know why, like that's the most annoying thing. So Sam was, and they, and they don't like to go over there and that's where we have two water troughs over there. So Sam moved one of them over there so that they can be like on, on dry ground to drink during the day. So I gave her some water inside just to make sure, just to make sure that she's a good girl and drinking lots. This stuff is the best. This stuff really is the best and we've used it for years and years and years. We've bought two bottles. All the years we've had horses, we've used this stuff. No, we don't even buy, actually, we have. But we still have it somewhere. Hold on, let me find it. We have mane and tail detangler that is good too, but this is a liquid and you just spray it on so you use much less of it and it is so cheap. You buy it in a bottle, it's a concentrate. Normal size bottle? Just wait, did you find it? No. Yeah, it comes in like a small bottle, smallish bottle, like uh, maybe a 28 ounce bottle. I don't know how big that is, but it small. comes in a bottle and then you pour a little bit into like a spray bottle or whatever you want to yeah. put it in and then you add water. Yeah. And, and then, literally at one if it bucket. It's like this, you just you shake, shake it. it. Yeah. And, and we leave it out winter, summer, fall, it doesn't matter. And look at how nice it makes her hair. And she has the worst hair to brush. Yeah. And it is like phenomenal. And it is cheap, you guys. I don't know. It's like $12.99 or something. And it lasts, one bottle probably lasts for three years. Yeah. We haven't even had to refill this because we filled this all the way to the top. Yeah. Like that's, uh, and we use it a lot. It is amazing. Willow, what do you think about doing some shows this year for the first time? She's like, she's like a show, I'll go. Also, this stuff Gabby loves for saddle cleaning and boot cleaning, actually she uses it for boots more than anything. But our vet also wants us to take extra care and treat Chino's feet, which I had some stuff that I was using that I really liked, so, but we ran out. So I'm gonna use this today. We're gonna use this today, Protect, Prevent, and Heal at Hoof Doctor. We got this on a promotion. I worry about stuff like this because it has so many ingredients in it. I don't know. I don't know what's in it. I don't know what any of these things are. 
See, I'm not putting any of that crap on honey. Because I don't want to put anything on honey's feet unless she absolutely needs it. Yeah, I worry that this will dry out their feet, but it looks like it's got turpentine in it. I put that on Willow's feet. Very recommended. Maybe I'll do pennies. I put oh, that on Willow's feet. Stinks. Oh well, you gotta use it. Oh, you're getting your hair done? <laughs> what a happy boy he is. These strings grew out so such a happy boy. He's so happy being home. Like, I love him home. I never want to, like, we have to, you know, eventually we're going to have to board out our horses again when we're ready to ride. But I hate it. I love having them home so much. You're going to have to sweep up all this stuff so it doesn't get in his food at nighttime. Oh. I want to use those two when you're done. I love these little hoof picks that Gabby has. So maybe tomorrow we're going to clean all of our brushes and all of our hoof bags. I'm going to bring them in. I'm going to wash them. This, uh, this Noble Outfitter bag washes up like nobody's business. And we have two of them. I was just thinking that Chino's hair looks really nice. Not very blunt. Just the perfect length and gorgeous. And oh, I look over. Really then I look over and Gabby's cutting his mane. Not a lot. I need to cut his mane. She needs to cut his Up mane. To here, yeah. I wanted to show him. I know, but he's not showing right now, so let's leave him. All right, so we are at the beach. Wait, can we walk the road? Did you find Did you find a bathroom? I found a nice tree. <laughs> <laughs> Ew, Gabby. Got to find a nice tree. <laughs> She's good. Anyway, aw. We brought the dogs. Crocs in sports mode. They're going to fall off. Yeah, I brought Crocs too because. We, we're Listen, we're, we're sandy. Okay, it's fine. Logan's in sandals. It's all good. So I brought a ball and this thing, and Ellie's gonna have Ellie's gonna have her very first beach trip. No. She's so cute. She wants her mama. Let Ellie go. She'll stay. No. I'm not letting her go. Remember last time I let her go? <laughs> she wants me. So we're gonna try and hit up the nature trail first. And then we're gonna try and hit the beach and see if the dogs will go in the water. I'm good. Uh oh, you're gonna lose that ball. <laughs> Nick, chase him. Nick versus Molly. Get it, Molly, get it, come on. This is one of the great wonders of the world, this beach that we're at. I got, here, take it. I got a dog to pull me up, it's okay. <laughs> wow, look at that. Oh, the water's all fenced off. <laughs> Ellie, Ellie's like, let me go. So nice. Can't see. Go get it. Get it, Molly. Get it. She didn't she see. Didn't see it, so <laughs> Come on, Ellie. Look at that, she listens. Good girl, yeah. That is the water, this is the beach. Good Canadian beach. Oh, there's an opening. Oh, right in. Oh, we just stayed out Oh my gosh, yeah, I love it here. Wait, can you hold my bag? Yeah. It has my phone and Gabby's AirPods in it. Okay, let Ellie go. This is Ellie's very first time. Don't throw it so far. I thought it was that far. far. Oh, let, let her go. Let her go and see what she does. Give me my bag. Drop it. Drop it. Not too far. Ellie, go get it. Molly loves the water. I oh, know. Yeah. Mm. What the hell is this? <laughs> Ellie doesn't like water. And I'll roll you down the hill. I tried, I tried to get like pictures. Oompa Loompas. <laughs> Oompa Loompas. Oh. I tried to get Nick to sit for pictures with the girls, brother and the sisters, and he said no. All right, let's see if we can make this hill. Nick says if I want to sit in the sand, he'll roll me down the hill like a Oompa Loompa. Oh, it's death. Defying. 
This is not where you want to go after you've been in the house all winter. So the one thing that I love about her so much is that for a little dog, she has the energy of a big dog, but so much so that I feel like I have to always step in and like calm her down and stop her because I feel like she would go until she like died. Like this dog doesn't ever give up. She's so tiny and yet she's keeping up with Molly. This is gorgeous. Love this. I miss being at the beach. And she's done. <laughs> she had a long run. Well, let's see. She thinks she wants down again. We all had to climb down this drop off. <laughs> I found a better way. I'm just walking on sand. <laughs> Ellie, Ellie went running right off the ledge. Woo! Oh, I'm exhausted. Everybody take off your shoes and dump them. Oh, she brought the best shoes. Yeah, we have those. We should have brought those. <laughs> Everybody is so thirsty. Cabby's <laughs> pants are getting all wet. <laughs> Did you Google when they opened? No. Ellie's dead. If there's no vlog in the next day, it's because we all died after this trail. But this is one of my first times ever sitting in the very back and I love it. Don't you know that you're beautiful?